at St Andrews we're trying to shift our practice um, by having more visible learning uh, so that students are very clear on what they're um, what they're learning, the reasons for it, the skills behind it. Different teachers have been trialling uh, cross-curricular um, assessments. So, for example, in English, uh, I worked with a science teacher who used an English standard for science um, and sharing what we were doing there. Um, there's uh, a stripping back of uh, credits being offered uh, so that we have more time to go deeper. So n not... Uh, um, so going by going deeper, um, not assessing everything that's taught, uh, especially uh, with extension level classes um, where we want them to get a breadth of ideas. Um, they're starting to look at maybe more conceptual learning um, uh, next year. Uh, for example, in English with a year 11 class, I'm looking at trying to use more concept based learning um, and then having the text fall out of that and then the assessments fall out of that. So students will have more choice with what text they use for assessments rather than it being all teacher driven, but that there being an underlying skills base there. And at the same time, combining and working with the math department um, so that the students are cross curricular with English and math. Um, the idea being that they're polar opposite subjects and, uh, and if it can work there, then, uh, then there's no excuses. So um, yeah, a, a, a deeper level of learning, uh, more skills based um, and trying to create more authentic audience. So how, how these students present their work uh, and, and um, the relevance of it. The School of Animation, for instance, collaborates with the School of Fashion in terms of there's collaborations across subjects like photography um, and design. So there's there are kind of natural collaborations that happen, um, but which are sort of enhanced, I suppose you'd say, um, by the this idea of the schools within schools. Um, another um, area that we are looking at developing too is in the area of digital technology and establishing um, links between um, the animation school and as Gavin talked about in, in the presentation, the uh, uh, robotics um, course as well, which brings in actual hands-on fabrication of, of you know, sculpture. So um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of um, things that are in the pipeline, which we haven't yet trialled. Mm.